coming, going, always on the move. The people, the customs, even the places in this restless, bustling city that is New York. New construction, new facilities, striving to keep abreast of the ceaseless teeming traffic, of the growing families, of the mass of busy workers in ever new New York. New York is up to the minute, fast moving, dynamic. But its charm can be found by just turning a corner. Here you will find many who cling to yesterday. New York's past and present live side by side. The city's dignity, its reverence, its amazing and delightful contrasts are blended in beautiful proportions. The soft clop-clop of the old is not forgotten, just submerged by the clatter of the new. Just for the sake of change is not the purpose in the constant rebuilding and expansion. Rather, it is an endless effort to keep up with her people, their ideas, their energies. Some 14 million visitors a year join the throngs that hustle and bustle about the city. Sightseers, tourists and natives use every manner of transportation devised. It is no longer unusual to see people airborne to the heart of the city. Nor is it strange that they find their way through the apparent maze of streets. In the vast complex that is New York, there are such diverse activities as the Money Mart, the Wall Street area, gauging the financial health of the nation. Fifth Avenue, the world of fashion. Just off Fifth Avenue are the quiet, garden-like surroundings of the Museum of Modern Art. shapes and forms of the sculpture on display here range from the newest to the now classic modern. New York's uncompromising pursuit of creativity has often given expression to genius. A much visited example is the Guggenheim Museum. Unusual? Indeed. Controversial? Of course but its soaring internal vastness is breathtaking in its majesty. Frank Lloyd Wright's conception of the ideal showcase for art is a literal transport to a different sphere. Nothing is humdrum in this relatively small spot on the East Coast. Ever new, New York changes and grows. Almost six and a half million square feet of office space will spring up in a single busy year. Modern castles of business and industry, built of glass, aluminum, steel, plastics, ceramics. They are soundproofed, air conditioned, modular, efficient, and dramatic. When change is demanded, change is made. When the urgency of modern business requires a quickened pace, a company moves. This building gave 37 years of service to the great insurance company it housed. But a new headquarters was needed uptown. So, work began.
took two years to do this Herculean job, and at least that long to plan the move of its citizens and effects from the old building. Every possession must be tagged, from where it has been to where it is going. Work cannot be interrupted, business must go on as usual. Nothing must be lost, least of all time. Eighteen hundred truckloads, one hundred and twenty-five thousand pieces of equipment to be shifted. On a quiet Sunday morning, a critical stage of the move. Five and a half billion dollars of policyholder assets are placed in armored trucks, convoyed by New York's finest literally accounted for every block of the trip. Security continues from the old vault to the new, a cavernous structure four stories underground encased in 200 tons of special steel. The building enjoys its very last respite before starting its term of service. Not slumbering, but poised. Ready to begin a long, busy, and useful life. Morning, the equitable life. People arrive. They occupy themselves in their new surroundings. Well oriented because nothing is out of place. Rather, it is better and more efficient. Coming, going, always on the move, the people customs, even the places. In this restless, bustling city, always fascinating, always inspiring, ever new, New York.